Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 7. I have been up for a very long time. I had to be up at 5.30 to get to work for 6.30. Um, I drop some little girls off to school. Um, it was very icy this morning, very cold, very foggy. Um, I took this little Instagram photo when I got back just because everything just looks so pretty when it's just covered in frost. But I thought I'd start off this vlog with the advent calendars because that's what everyone loves to see. So in yes, well yesterday I opened up my calendar. So number six, I think it was number six, and I got these, which are really cool. They're like um, little gems, and I think they're meant to be for your face. I think they're silver. They're like a silvery blue, but I thought they could look really cool on nails. So. I may give them a go. Uh, so let's do the advent calendars. Chocolate one. I mean, I don't think you guys really care about that one. Oh, it's got holly on. Oh, day number seven is a long one. So it could be, this one's a little bit wider than the lip liner. So maybe this is like a, you know what? I have no idea. Oh, I just ripped it. Oh, I think it might be an eyeliner, an eyeliner. Oh. Day number eight is a long one as well. I'm wondering if that's going to be like a makeup brush or something. Uh, I don't think I'll ever get bored of advent calendars, even just chocolate ones. I just think it's so exciting. If I show you now, I feel like this is just such an early part of the vlog. Well, it's arrived, so I may as well show you because there could be there could be more parcels arriving today. So I actually placed this two days ago. <laughs> And it's arrived before all of my Black Friday stuff, which is odd. So the first thing that I got is this velvet dress from... This was all from ASOS, by the way. This is Miss Selfridge. It's in a size 8. Although I kind of maybe wish I got the 6. Because it just looks quite wide. It is a smock dress. But it's just this black velvet um, dress. It's really pretty. And it's got a little tie at the back to cinch in the waist. So I thought that would be something interesting to try. That was £32. I thought that could be a good Christmas Day dress. I also picked up this dress from Reclaimed Vintage. And I really like it, but I think it might be too cold. I don't know whether I could wear something underneath. It's this short-sleeved corduroy smock dress. Um, and I got this in a small. So I'm going to have to try this on and see if it'll look good with... Um, like a black long sleeve top underneath, but I think this would be really cute in the summer as well. This is, that was also 32 pounds, I think. Then the final thing I've ordered are some Doc Martens. So in my previous vlog, actually no, I don't think I showed it. I ordered some boots, um, just like combat boots, but they were too small and they were from Shein. And so I just sent them back and I thought, why don't I get some proper Docs? So I'm gonna try them on. I'm gonna see if they suit me because I'm not the typical girl you'd see in docs, but I think I'm a bit like, I don't know if any of you guys watch Emily Canham, I really love her style, and I think we have generally similar, maybe our, mine's a bit more boring, <laughs> but um, she wears them and she makes them look really cute. So I got the 1460 smooth leather, I think. They're really hard, um, they're the eight, eyelet ones I got these from ASOS they are expensive but if I do keep them my mum's gonna put some money towards them as part of my Christmas present so yeah I got these in a size 5 so I'm excited to try all my stuff on I might actually do that now before I get too tired because I can already feel my eyes going and I'm gonna need a nap <laughs> early mornings don't sit well with me let's get trying some stuff on I'm gonna prop you up somewhere outfit numero one okay this is the dress I really love this. So it's like a three quarter length sleeve. I don't know if it's meant to be fully long, but I have long arms. So three quarter length sleeve. This is the neckline. I know this lighting's horrific. Um, maybe if I turn this on, it'll look cuter. So this is the dress. I really love the sleeves, how they kind of poof up at the shoulder. I don't know if I can stand far enough back. This is in the way. This is the dress. It's really short, but it covers. I don't know if this bit's sitting a bit funny. Okay, I think this bit just needs ironing flat. Um, but this is so cute and definitely 
a good Christmas day dress. Okay, the mother approves and the father. <laughs> so let's try the next one. Okay, here is the dress. I can't make my mind up because I think it's cute. I really like it with these boots. I just can't make my mind up. I like it with a denim jacket. So that's how I would style it. So with a little denim jacket. I think that's kind of cute. I've also got the docks on. I think the docks really s suit this outfit. I've never done like boots and dresses. I think this is really cute. I'm gonna try this dress on with a long sleeve top. I don't think it'll work. Not sure, I think it's a bit odd. I think maybe this dress needs to go back, but then I, th I think I like it for spring. I don't really know how to show you these, but this is the boots. Personally, really, really like them, um, so I'm going to be keeping them. I need to wear them in, ready for my holiday. But yeah, I think they'll be a good buy. Hopefully I'll get the wear out of them because they are the most expensive pair of shoes or item <laughs> I have ever bought in my life. Also, I can't, I can't believe I've just shown you that. I've not shaved my legs, they're really bad. Um, so I'm gonna take these off, pop them on with just a general outfit and I'm gonna wear them throughout the day just to get my feet used to them and start wearing them in. I love little cat paws, I just love, I just love them. They're just so soft. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm gonna go down and get some lunch. I've finished editing the video, nearly fell asleep. Um, so I've got it. Um, currently uploading, it's still got about 40 minutes left. I'm gonna pop on my jumper because I'm actually really cold now. I got really hot having a jumper on over this. I've still got my docks on with fluffy socks. Um, I changed them to have fluffy socks because A, my feet were cold, and also I just thought they're slightly thicker than normal, so maybe they'll break in quicker. For anyone wondering, this top is from H&M. My jeans are Bershka. The jumper that I was wearing, I don't actually buy from Boohoo anymore, but it was from Boohoo about two years ago, I think. But I really love the shape of it. I wear it still, because obviously I'm not gonna get rid of it. Oh, I just love that. I just love it. I love Christmas lights. Just how warm and cozy does that feel? My room is actually really cold. Um, it's because my bin covers the thermostat on my radiator, but I was boiling last night going to bed. I guess my room had heated up throughout the day, and now it's this time of day. Between like, I would say like 11 till 3, my room is freezing. Um, right, lunchtime. I am back. My hair is up, it's greasy. Um, it's actually not that greasy, but it looks greasy because I've scraped it back. Um, I ordered Domino's because my dad was shopping and there was no food and then he came back just as my Domino's arrived. So yeah, this is what I had. Obviously I'm dairy free. Um, I had the kickers. It doesn't say it's, obviously it's not vegan. Um, so it might have dairy in, but if it does, it must only be a tiny bit, but I doubt it will because most like chicken nuggets and stuff doesn't have dairy in. So I think I'd be okay. Um, and then with the pizza, I. I had extra sauce, extra cheese, and pineapple. You can't add meat onto the vegan ones, because they're vegan, which is very annoying when I'm dairy free, and then you can't have a normal pizza, and then add the vegan cheese. So yeah. <laughs> but I'm hoping my video will nearly be up, because the screen's gone, it probably won't. Oh, it's finished processing, cool. Um, I love when it's finished processing, because then I can just I can do all of the bits that I need to do, so like the end cards, all of the monetization stuff, because you can't do all of that until it's finished processing. So I'm going to just flick through that. I've still got my boots on. I wouldn't usually wear shoes on my bed, but I'm trying to break them in and just get them moulded to my feet. And they're clean, so it's fine. <laughs>
Okay, I'm filming on my phone because my camera's dead and I'm too cold to get it. I'm actually under my duvet now. I've got a cup of tea. I'm watching Virgin River. Oh, hey, I've just posted on Instagram because I haven't posted in like a week. Sammy's just hopped up and joined me. I do have a bed down here for him. He likes to switch between the bed and his bed. Are you alright, my darling? He's fast asleep. Um, video is all scheduled and ready. I'm so glad that is done. And yeah, so I'm just chilling for a little bit because I am so tired. <laughs> Middle of doing my nails, I will show you once they're done. It's taking me a very long time. I'm a very slow nail doer, <laughs> but they're going to be Christmassy as long as they work. I'm doing something I've never tried before, so it may not work out, but we're giving it, we're giving it a good shot. We're giving it a good shot. <laughs> also, sorry, I'm still on my phone. My camera is up there and... I currently don't have any free plug sockets to plug my battery in. Nails are done. This is what I went for. It's a little bit different. I used the chunky glitter that I got in my advent calendar. And yeah, I'm really pleased. Okay, it's much later. I have done my nails now. They're a bit dodgy, but there's something a bit different. I'm not sure what I think, but yeah, they're done. Oh, Feather, what are you doing in here? You're never in my bedroom. I had another ASOS order arrive today. I think I know which one this is, unless they've sent me a different one. Okay, so this is the first of the three ASOS orders. Okay, so I did get these in the Black Friday sale. Oh, nice. Okay, so this is the first hat that I got. This is by the brand Pieces. Um, it says, I'm with wool. So yeah, I got this. I'm gonna take my hair down just for this section. It's actually freezing in here because I've opened my window because I could not breathe with the fumes of my nail polish remover. So I got this because it matches one of my scarves really perfectly and I thought over Christmas it'd, this would be nice. I'm not a hat person. <laughs> I'm just not a hat person. But I thought this would be really good for during the winter time to keep me warm. It's kind of cute, so I will be keeping it. <laughs> um, I can't remember how much I got this for. Or how much it originally was. I think it was originally 18 and I got it for 12. But it's a really lovely colour. Really soft as well. So I thought that would be cute. And then the second hat I got. Hat I got. I wanted a different colour because I just thought that orange won't go with everything. So I got a grey one. This one feels a bit smaller. Which will probably be better. This is by a brand called Boardman's. Um, I don't know how much it was. Yeah, this one fits a little bit better, but they both fit pretty nicely. So I've got my winter hat sorted. And actually I could have used this this morning, it was freezing. The one thing I'm loving about having to wear masks is in this cold weather, it keeps you so warm. Like that's honestly a lifesaver. I've never had such a warm nose. So next up I got two things for like dancey stuff. One being just an ASOS own brand like loose vest top i just thought this would be really cute over a sports bra just dancing so i got this in an eight um and yeah it's just like a low low arm crop <clears throat> like racer back vest and i just thought this would be really great over sports bras with leggings and stuff but yeah there was a few sizes sold out i thought an eight might be quite big because it's loose but it, I'm sh it'll be fine the next thing that i got is a sports bra from nike i wanted a nike sports bra for quite a while and then i saw emily cannon's whole week i feel like i've spoken about her loads in this video but um i watched her asos haul actually and she always wears the nike ones and i just thought this looked really really nice i got it in an extra small which i'm hoping will be an okay size because i have a really small rib cage i think it'll be okay um you can take the padding out and i just thought that that was a really nice sports bra. You can adjust the straps as well. And then the back is, it's like a racer back, but this bit here is mesh. So this is originally, I don't know, this is the Nike Indie bra for anyone asking, wondering. I'm hoping that fits. Now I'm looking at it, I think maybe I could have done with the small. Um, so then I've just got two more things. Um, the first being this like t long sleeved top. This is by the brand Wednesdays Girl. And it's a long sleeved peplum top. And I just thought this is one of those tops that you could dress up or dress down. Um, I got this in a size small. 
and it just looks so cute on the model. It's a colour, I really like green actually, it's not a colour I wear that often but I'm like branching into and I love peplum tops, I think they're so flattering. So I thought that one would be worth a try. And then this next top I saw, and I don't have any use for it now, but I thought it could be useful in the future. It's one of those tops that you can just keep. So I think this is actually by New Look. And it's, again, it's it's not really peplum actually. God, that looks giant. This bit looks really big. I think it'll be okay actually. Um, but it's got these kind of sleeves that poofs up here and it's like poofy, like three quarter length. It's a really pretty material, it's buttoned down and then it's got a tie at the back so you get a really nice shape. And I just thought this is really great for just those occasions where you need to wear something a little bit smarter, even if you've got like an interview. Um, so yeah, I got this in a size eight. I think it'll be okay because I'm usually an eight from New Look and it ties as well. But I just thought that's a piece that you can just kind of wear all the time. And I just really liked the look of it and I thought if I don't get this now, I won't have any, I don't have anything to wear for that kind of occasion, so I thought, I've seen it, and I'll never find anything like it again, so it's worth a try. So, that is my little ASOS haul for you guys. Um, if I can be bothered, I'll do some try-on clips. I really can't be bothered to cook, and so I've got a roast dinner, like, in, on a plate, that I can just heat up, but I really don't fancy that because I had it yesterday. But then all of the other stuff I can cook with is in the freezer. So. <gasps> if we have sweet potatoes, I might have jacket sweet potato. Okay, so I'm going to try the stuff on, but I'm going to do it sitting down because... Because I'm lazy. <laughs> okay, here is the sports bra. I could probably have gotten away with the small um, rather than the extra small, but... Um, because it's a low impact, the tighter it is, the more it's going to feel secure. It fits here, my rib cage, really great. So if I had a small, it probably wouldn't fit there. Um, I just need a little bit bigger here, but I think it's cute. I love a proper sports bra. Oh yeah, I was going to show you the back. Ignore my back, it's spotty. This is the back, sorry, it's dodgy angle. <sighs> okay, so we can keep that to one. Um, we'll try the vest on i just thought this would be such an easy throw on cool yeah easy throw on sorry the label is sticking out easy throw on with leggings i can dance in it move that was the whole point of this again this is the back i know this angle's horrid but i have no space down here okay glad i bought this as well that's super comfy sometimes i just want my stomach to actually be covered rather than just be wearing a sports bra Okay, so I really love this top, but it's just gapy here, so I do need a six. Um, it's really flattering though, obviously I can make it fit because of the tie, but it's just this here. It just doesn't sit quite right, it's just too baggy. Um, but I think it's such a lovely top, so I may reorder it in a six if it's still in stock, but I'm not sure it'll be in stock, unfortunately. Okay, here is the green top. Well, my niece, you can see, I think this is so cute. I love the shape of it. Um, so this will be a keep. I'm going to have a look and see if they've got any more like this. Not now, because I don't need to spend any more money. But, yes. I like this. <sighs> so, we're filming on my phone again. Because I left my camera upstairs and I can't be bothered to go back up. <sighs> I'm really tired. So there is a jacket, there's a sweet potato. So I'm going to show you how I make my jacket sweet potato even though I've not made it in like a year. I'm gonna scrub the potato first. I'll be back when it's clean. And it's clean, it doesn't look that clean but it is clean. Um, so I'm just gonna poke a few holes in it and I'm gonna pop it in the microwave for five minutes. I just tried to poke a hole in it and it got stuck. It went in a bit deep. <laughs> I can't get it out. There we go. I hate the noise of potatoes in the microwave. I hate the like noises if they're about to explode. I know it's not because I've poked holes in it, so it's gonna be fine. Make sure you poke holes in it because you don't want it to explode in your microwave. Um, oh, I hate the noise, I hate it. It's been in for five minutes and I've just cut it in half. I've chopped up some onion, so I'm gonna sprinkle the onion on top because that'll make it taste amazing. And then I'm going to, a little bit later, after this has been in about 
five, 10 minutes, I'm going to chop up some pepper and I'm going to pop that in. I'm gonna pop in some tomatoes separately and then I'm gonna get frying some bacon. And the timer's about to go off. There we go. I'm gonna get it out. So yes, it's only been in for five minutes. Add the pepper on top. It goes in for 20 minutes and then um, the tomatoes will go in when there's about 15 minutes left. While that's in, I'm going to fry the bacon. I have just cut up a singular slice and I've cut it into like little cubes, the same as the onion and the peppers, just because it works a little bit easier with this particular meal. And I'm also gonna grate some cheese. Um, I'm just pre-frying the bacon just a little bit and then I'll probably put it in when there's about 10 minutes left on top of the potatoes. Same with the cheese. And this is how it turned out. The lighting isn't great, but here are the tomatoes. This is how I like them. And then, yeah, you can see the dairy-free cheese isn't great. Some of it melts and then others, it just literally goes hard. But I did what I could with what I had. Looks yummy, hopefully it tastes good. <laughs> I just got my scarf out to show my mum what I meant about the thing matching, so. The scarf is from Primark, which is so soft, and this is the hat, so it's really similar colours, and I just thought that is perfect for winter walks. Haven't worn the scarf yet, but I will be definitely over Christmas. Um, so super warm, but I'm going to pop these under my bed for now because I don't need them currently. my little singing lesson to myself <laughs> hope you enjoyed that time lapse all right sam hello you're just waking up oh you missed that big yawn hello my darling hello oh my baby boy yeah he's got a scab on his nose he fights <laughs> Oh, 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 I can't breathe without your love. Your love. Oh.